was looking for the good in a fire that burned my house down was a light that led the way from my cold and lonely hometown but now i'm growing up i see a new by starlight the monster in the embers will not be stopped by night so i turn to lonely fly By the light of my bridge is burning, I will cast aside my name. There's nothing left to hold me here in the last kingdom of my shame. And though I hear your chanting of die, 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 I will be your son no more. You don't deserve to have me try. Knives in the land where Empire started, in the graveyard of the future, where the island soul departed, and your father told you lies about where to find your heartbeat. So you play the game of progress, where there's only win or cheat. I'll embrace my first defeat by the light of my branches burning. I will cast aside my name. Nothing left to hold me here in the last kingdom of my shame. And though I hear your chanting of die, 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 I will be your son no more. You don't deserve to have me try. Right, folks, let's go. So, I have actually played a bunch off stream, like I kept saying I was going to. Um, the net result of which is that I have solved a number of problems, made a handful of advances, um, and we are now ready to actually do some exploring for the first time in a while. Uh, that's full. Okay, I was going to leave some water here. I guess I can't do that. I'm going to take one of these. Leave behind one of those. Did I just drink that? God damn it, I did not want to do that. Uh, there is some junk in this storage locker. One thing I haven't done is organize anything. Uh, I do have a fully charged power cell. I have loads of batteries. That one's empty, which means it needs to go back to the charger, which I was finally able to build. So the biggest changes are that I was able to upgrade my sea moth a bit. Um, let's put some batteries away. Um, is there really enough to be playing with? I think so. I was able to upgrade my sea moth a bit. In particular... I have given it uh, all the depth upgrades and an armor upgrade, 
which I don't think works, so I couldn't tell the difference that it made. Where? There must be something here I can eat. Um, there are a whole bunch of peepers. Where have they all gone? There's one. Two. Oh, damn. Missed. Missed. There we go. Instantly cooked. And now we are going to go and investigate two locations which have been on the HUD for a very long time. Um, oops. In the process of getting my... Uh, where is that? Oh, this is the nearer one, which I think I have actually been to. And the one I was saving up to go to is this one, um, which is hopefully not too far out in this direction, because somewhere out here, I there's a leviathan spawn. Um, whoops. Those are floaters, not gel sacks, I believe. I don't think I want to go down there. That seems like it'd be quite a bad idea. Uh, why did I decide to do this journey at night? That's one of those guys. That's fine. Uh, we're going down here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I did manage to get my Seamoth destroyed because I strayed into the territory of a ghost leviathan. And it ate me. Um, a slight problem that this game has is that... Whoops. It is actually very difficult to tell when you are being attacked. Um, but the enemies are beautiful. The The... Leviathans that will try to eat you are oh, very, very pretty. I love their designs. But they will be passive for a long time. Uh, that's in the cave. I am on the lookout for some specific things. I don't think this is one of them, but I want to have a look at it. Uh, Membrane tree. Uh, Entity that defies neat categorization because it's more than one coral species working to an insulated microcosm. It's a spontaneously generated biological snow globe, I think, is what I'm getting from that. That's a design choice and a half. Where's the like, waypoint is down there? I just saw a tail. Oh, it's these guys. I th think these guys aren't terribly threatening. But I haven't got very close to them before. So I don't know. God, it is nice to be... Oh, that's a warper. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, ooh. Proposed Degassi Habitat. Ooh. Ooh. That's new. I've not seen one of those before. I have seen a streamer trying to explore this base and getting bullied by that thing. Uh, let me just park in close. I need to check whether it is safe. Whoa, what the? Oh, shit. Is he moth? Owie. That is unpleasant. Um, I didn't bring a health pack. 
That's very worrying, because I don't want to have to swim down here under my own power. Let's go and grab the PDA. Is my Seamoth getting damaged by this? My Seamoth is not getting damaged by this so far, at least. But this guy is capable of... Owie. What the hell? Oh, shit. It depletes my fucking power? No, I have power. What the hell is going on? Um, somewhere, there's going to be a way into this thing. Where is it? Is that it? Yes, okay. Whole bunch of stuff. What do you want to read? Oh, alien containment. Ow. Data box. Cyclops shield generator. How are we doing on air? Supplies are good so far. Um, owie. Fucking thing. Ah. So it makes things behave as if they've run out of power briefly. That's hilarious fun. Like an EMP of some sort. I, I already went out to this room, right? And opened the... Nope. Um, he's so angry. I opened that data box. Yes. Is there also an upper level that I want to get into somehow? Uh, if it is... Well, that's locked. Uh, okay. Now I have to deal with the fact that this guy is camping me. Where is he? Which way did I come in? I got in here somehow. Where's my sea moth? I parked the sea moth right here. And it's gone. Uh, that's a problem. Can I even identify the way out from here? I don't think I can. I think maybe they destroyed my Seamoth. And now I'm going to asphyxiate and die. Uh, that was around in a circle. This is going extremely well. This is all cave wall. Go away. How the hell did I get in here? Hoping this is the way out. Because if not, I'm dead. This is not the way out. This leads deeper. 30 seconds. I am aware that I only have 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Was there anything like an oxygen pocket in the Degassi base? I don't think there was. Rip me. And dead. So we're off to a flying start here, folks. I 
I did get all the information, I think. Put that away. We got some new blueprints, I think, for internally for... And we got the Cyclops seal generator, which we can't make, because we can't make the Cyclops. And we got the alien containment, which is ornamental. Oh, it's not ornamental. And um, we got... That, and then we got three data downloads. Uh... So, Margaret captured a leviathan, which is a great idea. Um, And that's how it ended. So we got the full story. Um, so that didn't go well. And I think... My fucking Seamoth got destroyed again. Uh, with an extremely expensive mod on board that time. Can I see it anywhere on my hood at all? No. Most of the gassy habitat thing. I think it was near Beacon 6. I didn't learn how to label my beacons. Yeah, that's the 251. It was over there. There is definitely no sea moth anywhere over there. Oh dear. I'm not sure all of that was worth it. Um, I spent... I was too focused on figuring out what was in the Degassi habitat, none of which was very worth finding, as it turned out, and not paying enough attention to actually exploring those caves. So now we have to reset and rebuild, which is just great. Uh, I do have some of the things that I will need. And I have recently rebuilt a Seamoth because I lost one. But I'm not looking forward to having to rebuild the depth modules. That's going to suck. They are expensive. Um. Oh, a radio message. Look at that. Fortunately, one thing I did manage to do was equip my bases with radios, so I don't have to go back to the pot to check the radio message. Um, haven't actually built anything new for this base at all. Um, where are we? Radio. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll oh, great. We'll make rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. One of these batteries is discharged and Honk. should be... Honk! Hey, my, how's it going? Uh, is it just the one? Yes, okay, cool. Uh, 
I should take a med kit because I got my ass kicked. And now we go and find out what I have to do to rebuild my damn submarine. That just got fucking eaten. Where's the launch pad? Oh, there it is. <sighs> I am 20 minutes into the stream and I've already gotten clowned by sea creatures. But, and I want the record to very clearly show this, I did not get scared. Um, vehicles, Seamoth, right. I have a power cell. <sighs> I wonder how many of these things I actually have on hand. Apart from the getting clowned by a sea monster, I'm doing all right. I had a nice walk this afternoon. Went to... Uh, take some stuff to the tip and buy... I, I have a bathroom cabinet that I need to put on my wall. And um, in order to go on the wall, it needs two very specific screws, which were not included with the flat pack of the bathroom cabinet. So I spent like 10 minutes in the screw aisle of a hardware store searching for the right screw. Because, my God, do they ever make a huge number of different kinds of screw. I need lead. I need lubricant. I am going to have to go and just find a bunch of titanium. Uh, that can be dealt with. Let's go to the scanner room. And say, tell me about the locations of metal salvage. One over there. Cool. Um, I got really caught out by the weather. Um, it felt cold all morning. And it was cold, but it was also extremely humid. Um, and so when I went out for a walk, I got a bit sweaty. Um, but I did eventually find everything I was after, which was and I thought, the hell, where is the cave that these things are hiding in? Um, and on the way, I listened to a podcast about Homestuck that made me very angry. Not because it was wrong about Homestuck, but because it was wrong about 19th century, 18th century philosophy. Um, which apparently is still a thing I can get angry about all these years later. That is metal salvage, okay. Um, this is the problem with doing a PhD, and part of the reason why you should never do one. Because the fuckers will get you with all sorts of obscure details. My inventory's full. Uh, which base am I heading to? This one. Oh, dear. I was all set up for this to be a really productive stream where I did lots of cool things. And instead, here I am rebuilding the damn car for the third time. But actually, I suppose I'm only building it for the third time. Um, am I? No, this is the third one that I've lost. Um, okay. Let's see. Clear that up. If there's a way to search this menu, I haven't found it yet. So I do a lot of scrolling back and forth hopelessly because it's also not very well organized. Uh, machines, there, no, where's the vehicles? They're here somewhere. Hey, doll, thank you for submerging. How's it going? Pathfinder tool. That sounds like it could be extremely useful. I wish I'd had that a while ago. Where the hell did I pick up the blueprint for that? It wasn't there yesterday, I'm sure. Seamoth. Oh, so 
glass. I think I have quartz. Uh, I fucking don't. Do I have any quartz? I have two pieces of quartz. Time to go and get some more quartz. <sighs> so yeah, anyway. Um, fucking Homestuck has me thinking about dear old Bishop George Barclay, among others. Um, I realized earlier, you know how like occasionally a random historical figure will become a meme for no adequately explained reason? Bishop Barclay really ought to be a perfect candidate for that. Not because he was especially good or evil, although there were certainly evil things about him, um, but because he was just such a weirdo. Um, uh, should I be swimming into this cave? I should be swimming into this cave. Give me that. Can I swim out again? <laughs> Five minute philosophy of memes. I mean, honestly, like, all philosophy is philosophy of memes, so I can do anything. Um, so a meme is... Any uh, set of ideas that is reproduced. Um, which is to say, one person tries to get another person to take the idea up. Um, so I'm really not kidding when I say all of philosophy is memes. Um, so is the vast majority of culture, of course. Uh, is there any more Quartz around? Shout out to my friend Quartz who has apparently been suspended from Twitter somehow. What are you? Um, and because I only know them from Twitter, my only way of knowing that they are still alive is that they continue to send me clues in Arc Nights. In the, like, very, very limited... Uh, multiplayer stuff in that game, um, but a meme is a is a um, really a process of cultural reproduction rather than just an instance of it. And um, by that token, literally anything I talk about could be considered mimetic. Um, it is interesting that our culture has chosen to reduce the concept of meme to joke. Uh, jokes, of course, are a significant category of memes. Lots of jokes circulate memetically. This has been true since well before the internet, um, and it's not a problem. Uh, glass. Um, and it probably also irritates Richard Dawkin a Dawkins a lot, which is a very good thing. Um, fuck that guy. He's very annoying. I think we should irritate him as much as possible. I think that's going to be enough. Oh, yeah. Let's ice store. Cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescent photosensitive eyes. The eyes may in some way direct the twisted growth of the stems themselves, possibly in the reaction to other light sources. But it's not useful for anything, so I don't care. Because, as much as I enjoy this game, I'm not particularly into, um, like, making my base look pretty or anything. Time to make another car. Which, for some reason, we do a solid, like, 10 plus feet above the water. Because that's a great thing to do with a new vehicle, is just drop it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, and now we go back down here and we look at all the shit I need in order to uh, replace my mods for this. 
<sighs> Once I've done that. Common modules, whole reinforcement, titanium, lithium, and four fucking diamonds. Great. Um, Seamoth modules, titanium ingot, and glass. Let's go and get some more titanium. Always more titanium. Uh, sensor room. Should show up on the HUD shortly. How are we doing on water? Always be drinking water. Hydration check and all that. Anyway, dear Bishop Barkley, um, your friend and mine, unless you happen to be an Irish Catholic or a native of the Caribbean in the 19th century, 18th century. Um, most famous for believing that there is no such thing as matter, i.e. the um, material substance out of which the world is uh, made. According to Barclay, there are only experiences. Is that a limestone chunk here? Where the fuck is this limestone chunk? I disbelieve. There's a bunch down here. That should be enough. They're not down here. They're in a cave somewhere. Maybe... Yeah. There's one. That didn't give me what I wanted. That did. How am I doing on air? Enough for now, I think. Something's grumpy near here. You're still a lie. That limestone chunk, I'm pretty sure, is inside this rock. Uh... Now, on the face of it, Barclay's view sounds absurd. That there's no such thing as matter. Because it seems like it's obvious that there's such a thing as matter. Right? We interact with it all the time. But Barclay's point is that actually what we do is we experience interacting with matter. And the reason he cares about this uh, fairly obscure metaphysical distinction is because as a cleric at the start of the 18th century, he thinks that human beings in Europe have... Um, Decentered God from their understanding of the world. Um, let me pull bases over there. Okay. Oh, something's going to have a go at me shortly, I think. How are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more titanium. That might be good if I could get a few more than just one more. Um, Barclay looks at the state of Europe at the end of what it must be said was a pretty turbulent century. Um, and he thinks it's basically the invention of capitalism that happens in this period. And Barclay sees a problem with this. Um... Get back here, little fishy. I want to eat you. No? Okay, too bad. Um, that's the wrong base. Um, 
And basically he concludes that the idea is that the, the problem is that Europe has strayed too far away from God um, by treating the material world as a thing that exists in itself rather than just a manifestation of God's will. Um, and to solve this problem, he develops an entire metaphysics of um, that, that does away with the material world, fundamentally. It says there's only God's will. So there's just like human souls experiencing things and then God directly controlling our experiences to uh, I mean pretty much like it, it, it that that phrase is a cliche but it is a cliche that um, a great many uh, religious people of various kinds have fully believed <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, I th I think the people saying it unironically precede those who were uh, trying to make the claim ironically. Honestly, um, you know, a huge amount of the culture of like Europe in the Middle Ages was just people going every day we stray further than from God's light. Um, What do I need to make this wretched recipe? Please let me use the ladder. Glass was the other thing. Well. Excuse me. I have glass. We made sure of that. It's in here. I also have a decent quantity of copper for once, which is nice. Seamus modules. Depth module mark one. Now I go and look at what I need for the depth module mark two. I'm probably not going to try to make the depth module mark three again just yet. Um, where are we? Plasteel. I've got the magnetite and the enamel enameled glass. I just need the plasteel ingots. What do I need to make plasteel ingots? Uh, here. Titanium ingot and lithium. I'm pretty sure I've got the lithium. Have I got lithium somewhere here? I think I do. Yes. Lovely. Let's actually turn this fish into water. And I should also stow some more of this. How much locker space do I have left? Oh, this space here. Um, do I have a... Sp no, the, the stuff that's equipped does also show up in my inventory. That's right. Um... Apologies if there's a buzzing on the audio, by the way. Um, for some reason, my audio interface has started generating a buzz. Um, a new radio message. There's my radio. Play partially translated broadcast. Well, that's alarming. I suspect I'm the one unaccounted for target. Because, as has been pretty persistently uh, hinted at, this planet is, if not conscious, then at least has an algorithm which does some amount of consciousnessing. Om nom nom. Let's go and get some more fucking titanium.
Anyway, Barclay is famous for this view, which was... He wrote two books about it. Actually, he wrote several books about it, but the two famous ones are The Principles of Human Knowledge and Three Dialogues Between Hylas and Philonus. Um, most people who know about Barclay have not read these books. Um, and if they did read them, might be a little bit surprised by what they actually say versus what they don't. Um, because Barclay is typically brought up, and this is how I was first introduced to his ideas, as a sort of joke about the silly things that philosophers will believe if you leave them to their own devices for too long. Um, because normally it doesn't get explained in, the, in terms of this uh, crisis of Christianity. Uh, that I just described. Normally it gets explained as there was this wacky Irish guy who thought that the material world didn't exist. Um, and indeed, while his books were popular in the sense that lots of people read them, that attitude is pretty much the standard response going. Um, and very famously, Samuel Johnson, the uh, literary critic and um, philosopher, public intellectual, celebrity, really, of the era. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. Has a famous response to Barclay. Um, he was walking down a path with Boswell, his biographer. Um, and Boswell asked him, uh, what do you think of this Barclay dude? Because they were contemporaries. And there was this fad going on for Barclay's uh, work. What do you think of Barclay's ideas? And um, Johnson said, uh, I refute it thus. And kicked a stone that was lying on the path. Um... The implication being, well, if I can kick a stone, uh, then the stone's a material object. I do have four diamonds. Nice. I need some magnetite as well. Um, hang on. This is here. That's in one of these lockers. Uh, there. I'm not going to try to uh, sort that. Where are we? Titanium, one lithium, and four diamond. I'm going to make that hull reinforcement, even though I'm still not convinced that it does anything. This might be a waste of diamond. But I've gotten better at finding diamond. I know where there's loads of places to find it, so probably okay. Um, oh, fuck. Lithium. Yeah, yeah. Another extremely 90s references. Um, the problem with Bob, uh, Boswell's objection to Barclay is that Barclay has a perfect answer already lined up, and it, indeed it's actually in his books, which if Boswell had read he hadn't paid enough attention to. Um, can I see where that life pod was? Uh, it had sunk 500 meters before it was abandoned. Uh, I'm going to go and see if it's still only 500 meters down. Uh, I suspect it's going to be deeper than 500 meters and surrounded by fucking sharks. Because the water down here is pretty deep. Um, 
because what Barkley is going to say to Johnson or anyone else um, is, well, of course you feel the... You see the rock skittering away from where you kicked it and you feel the... Um, oh, my God. That's very deep. How are we doing for depth? It's also fucking dark down here. Try to keep track of some part of actual solid ground. Surrounded by sharks. Oops, sort of easy. Over this ridge, we might be able to see it. That is definitely going to be below 500 meters depth, I think. Um. Oh, it's another one of these fucking guys. We're going to be running into them a lot, I guess. One of these guys destroyed my Seamoth earlier. Oh, and it's surrounded by gel sacks as well. I need those. Uh, what do I want to do here? And there's a warper. Go away. I've researched them. Oh, Ruby. Yoink. We've got atmospheric music. Which side of this has been opened? Yoink. Where's my Seamoth? There it is. Time to get the hell out of here before that warper decides to teleport me somewhere else. <sighs> Jobs are good. What does anything this have to do with ham steak? Well, ha! Um, I haven't had time to prepare the full lecture on the intervening 200 years of the history of philosophy, 250 years of the history of philosophy. Um, but on the most recent episode of Himbo Stick podcast, um, dear old Cameron Kunzelman made exactly this argument uh, exactly Johnson's argument uh, against Barclay. Literally said, you know, having talked about ideas which are in some ways related to Barclay's um, literally made Johnson's argument cited it as such. Who the fuck is attacking me? Oh, Angry Shark. Um... And it turns out I'm still mad about people talking about Barclay this way. Um, I probably shouldn't be. It's probably counterproductive for me to be. But I am. Um, because, so Barclay is sometimes called an idealist. And is sometimes called a phenomenalist. And is sometimes called a phenomenalistic idealist. Um... All of those um, labels can be justified. Uh, arguably, none of them are good labels. Phenomenalist is the one that I would use um, if I was given completely free reign. I'm just going to switch this to something else. Uh... Uh, shale chunks. That's a useful one to know the location of, even if most of them are here. Um, it's very, very important that I stow... I just fucking ate that. I hate everything. 
Why is it edible? It's an incredibly, incredibly valuable item. Why is it edible? Ah. Uh. Somebody clip that. That probably deserves clipping. What blueprints did I get? I got a Cyclops depth module. I still can't build the Cyclops. Or the prawn. I got Cyclops depth module there as well. And I got a data log. <laughs> uh, flotation devices failed. Sound of flooding. We're flooding. Evacuate. Uh... Right. So they tried to survive. They probably got eaten. Um... <sighs> right. The thing I need to do is plant those uh, seeds because I desperately need gel sacks. There's the data thing. What have we got? Indigenous life forms, exploitable, gel sack. Um, Okay, that doesn't tell me anything about how to uh, raise it. I think they need to be grown in these things. Do I have any titanium left? I probably don't. That's usually the way of the world. Yeah, no titanium. Uh, let's go and get some titanium. In the middle of everything else, we're going to a Stanford Encyclopedia drive-by. Okay, let me get things arranged for that. I will pause that a second. I need that over there. I need that over there. I need to go here. Where's the podcast up to in Hornstack anyway? Uh, late Act 5. Uh, Act 5, Act 2, uh, the Terezi coin flip reveal, and Doc Scratch being an ass. Uh, where is my fucking scene? There it is. Uh, why did that open the Truthmaker's entry? That wasn't a random entry, that was an archived entry. I don't know why I was looking at Truthmaker's. The principle of beneficence, beneficence in applied ethics. Uh, so the principle of beneficence is uh, the idea that we should do good things or that we should aim to do good things or that a good way to summarise ethics is we should be trying to do good things. Um, and so this is a, an article about what it means to be benevolent. Um And so in applied ethics, it singles out biomed ethics and business ethics, which is a contradiction in terms. First name I see that I recognize is David Hume, uh, who, God bless him, I haven't done an insult on yet, I think, at all. Hume's great. He was a troll, basically. <laughs> uh, Hume comes in after this kind of about the same time as Berkeley, a little bit later, actually, and basically goes through all of early modern philosophy um, and says, uh, here's why this won't work. Like, let, let me take your principles seriously and take them to the logical conclusion, and they're nonsense. Um, so that's fun. What do we got on... So I could talk about biomedical ethics. Obviously, like that's really complicated and nuanced, and there are really important questions there. Uh, business ethics is the second area of applied ethics in which questions about beneficence have emerged as central. Um, Adam Smith uh, 
famously uh, not terribly um, a big fan of benevolence, which is how you eventually get to people like Ayn Rand. Um, so very cynical. Um, and like really the solution to business ethics is that we shouldn't have businesses and that we shouldn't try to introduce the business or the corporation or the partnership or the combination of um, peoples as ethical systems, right? We should keep ethics as a human thing and we should regard ethics as a thing that people do to one another. And so if, for example, a corporation creates economic conditions um, such that... Um, uh, what do I want to say? Such that a person working for that corporation has to do something unethical, we should look at how the people who make up that corporation have created those conditions um, and find the fault in that. It's not saying that we have to do like purely individual ethics, um, but we shouldn't... Uh, in allowing for the fact that ethics is communal make the move that so much of our current corporate infrastructure does of um, saying that because a corporation did it that doesn't mean any individual is responsible um, so yeah business ethics is a contradiction in terms we shouldn't have businesses of the kind for which there might be ethical concerns um, and we certainly shouldn't treat them as ethical systems in their own right. Uh, so I think that's satisfactory for an SCP drive-by. Um, fuck business ethics. Hume was a troll. I kind of love Hume, though. Uh, what was I looking for? Metal salvage. Um... I am always here for philosophers who are just going to go around winding people up instead of um, believing themselves to be in any way connected to the great mysteries of the universe. Um, while we wait for the scanner room to do its thing, let me just catch some more water fish. Yoink. And here, puppy. There we go. Also food. Is there any food left? It's usually pretty good at spawning food fish. There's one. There's another. Come here, little one. Yoink. How I'm eating with this mask on, I don't know, and I don't particularly want to think about it, but it is good fun. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. Back to Homo Suck. Um, so, somewhere in Home Stuck, I think in Act 4, Terezi has a speech. I think it's Terezi. Maybe I'm misremembering. Uh, fuck am I working on? I need titanium for something. What do I... I've completely lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, plant beds. That's right. Let's go and grab some salvage. Um, and Terezi expresses the view that um, the way to change the world or the, the, the changing of the world, the possibility of changing the world is dictated by the strength of one's beliefs. Um, you know, the, the possibility that you will change the world in which you find yourself is a matter of believing hard enough, which is a very, very popular narrative thesis um, like it's a thing that stories like to present as a fact about how the world works writers like this idea because it makes for good stories see like the entirety of shonen manga for example um, it is not for nothing that the naruto catchphrase is believe it 
Um, but uh, and you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, believe in the heart of the cards, etc. Um, in part, this is a legacy of Christianity, as are so many things. Um, But in part, it is also just that this is a thing that the modern world likes to believe. Um, right, can I build? Maybe get my habitat builder out. Where's that? That's that one. No, it's not that one. It's that one. Um. Exterior modules. I can build these here. Excellent. Uh, wait, no, I did want that. Let's build another one. Is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Tree roaches and stank root. Interesting. I mean, tree roaches sound tasty. I can go for some tree, tree roaches. Where did I put those seeds? Precious, precious seeds, which I will manage to not eat, I very much hope. How many seeds can I plant in the bed? Ah, there they are. Now I have to wait for them to grow. These are essential because they uh, allow us to make aerogel, which is what I need for the next plot milestone. Anyway, Terezi's philosophy of how stories work and how to change the world uh, is a form of idealism. It is a different form of idealism to Barclay's form of idealism, um, although they are related. It's a form of idealism that has more to do with Plato and much more to do with our old friend, Freddie Hegel. Um, got that. I don't know what that's for. Built that. Built that. I don't need to do any more scanner rooms. I don't really know what I'm supposed to work on now. I suppose I probably want to go... Uh... Yes, it probably also has some... Uh... Uh, some Gnostic connections. Um... Engine efficiency. I can't do that because I can't make polyaniline. I could make that. What else have we got? Um, that's not very useful. That requires poly polyaniline. That requires aerogel. Uh, that might be useful. I still can't make the prawn suit. I don't actually know how to make the prawn suit. Maybe I will go for wonder. I should repair this. And we'll see if we can find anything that tells me All systems online. which would be like over here. How to make the prawn. Um, so Barclay's idealist in the sense that um, idealism in this sense means uh, a view that holds that um, the right, prawn suit that also requires aerogel and also fucking diamond uh, so I guess I'd better go and get some diamond because I definitely need the prawn suit can I build the well uh, 
Uh, can't build the Cyclops yet. I don't have all the blueprints. What fun. Um, idealism here is contrasted with materialism. So, uh, to an idealist, the world is made up of ideas, mental phenomena of some sort. To a materialist, the world is made up of matter. Uh, and again, we nowadays, I think, would sound... would reflexively think that the idealist is obviously wrong and the materialist is obviously right. Um, but as the Johnson example shows, this misunderstands what role matter is playing in this story. Um, at the same time, there are versions of, material, of idealism which are significantly weirder than Barclays and which are much more widely accepted. So Plato, for example, is an idealist because in his theory of the forms um, it is held that um, the true nature of things, the, rea the fundamental reality of things, is their categorical natures rather than their... Um, Uh, rather than the material that makes them up. Which is a very silly view and wrong. I should not jump down that hole. That would go poorly. Let's not jump down that hole. I wish I didn't have to put the torch away when I want to run. Can we go... Up here instead. Here come the spiders. Your friends and mine. Well, especially Dolph's friends, I suppose. Go away. Seriously, go away. Nobody likes you. Oh! A spare purple tablet. I didn't think I was going to get another one of those for free. I thought I would have to make them all. Um, and Hegel is an idealist, as I mentioned. And the reason that Hegel's idealism shows up so much is because Marxism is built on and sometimes presented by Marx as fundamentally a critique of Hegelian idealism. I've fallen off something. This could be... Ow. Bad. Didn't take a lot of damage from it. I know that there's fucking deeper caves here that are full of exactly the materials I need. I just can't remember where they are. Uh... This way? Is this the way I came? This looks like it's the way I came. Um, what this means is that there are a lot of Marxists who are reflexively very hostile to anything that could be called idealism. Um, including, in this case, Therese's philosophy of stories, which, you know, does have some problematic elements to it. Um, casually runs down a mountainside in the dark. What could possibly go wrong? I can't remember the way, the actual ground level way into the cave I'm trying to find. I think there is a ground level way into it. Um, <sighs> this, by the way, if you don't know, is a giant space laser. Um, which has already destroyed my best chance at being rescued. 
And the second half of the game, once I've built my rocket ship, is going to be figuring out a way to turn it off. Um... But because it is a central claim of Homestuck that, through the character Therese at least, humans have this uh, magical control over our own destinies, um, which is exactly what is denied by Marxism. Um, what the hell did I just see flying around out there? Um... I guess, like, the Marxist objection to this, right, is, well, this neglects to, to take into account material circumstance. Uh, the idea that everyone can just make their own destinies is very, like, white, male, European, uh, propertied class. Um, it's a very uh, privileged way of thinking about things, let's say. Most of us can't actually control our own destinies in that way. Um, which is true. But also, like... It's not actually a necessary consequence of idealism as a belief uh, to believe that all you need to do in order to change your fate is believe hard enough. Um... Why are there suddenly no mineral deposits here? This place was fucking full of them. I shouldn't go much deeper than this, probably. Oh, you're new. Let's get you... Cave bush. Make your jokes now, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell the hell did I get in here? I think it must have been this way. I have a sneaking suspicion, you know, that the problem I'm having might be that because I am still searching all, all that metal salvage because I didn't turn the scanner room off, the game is still tracking the location of all the metal salvage and thus not spawning any resource nodes over here. Um, that seems like it'd be a very this th this game thing to do. Uh, so let's go and aboard, switch the scanner room over. Hydration check. Anyway, Barclay's idealism. Absolutely no problem talking about material circumstances. Barkley wouldn't have done so because he was a privileged asshole. Um, like he was a bishop of the Anglican Church of Ireland during the Protestant Ascendancy in Ireland, which is... You know, the Protestant Ascendancy is a polite name given to the English occupation of Ireland after um, Cromwell's invasion. Um... Which was terrible and oppressive in a lot of ways. Um, have my gel seeds fruited? They have. Right. Oh, my inventory tool. Uh, it's full because it's got lots of stuff in it. What a nice problem to have. Switch container. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. I destroyed a few too many of those. But it's okay. As long as I keep replanting, we shall have all the gel we need. I do need to drink something. And eat something. And get rid of... Why do I have lithium? Pardon me. Is there any in the data bank? Oh, yeah. Uh, haha. I should make another locker. Always be making lockers. Inventory. Let 
I make that the one for copper and titanium? I can put rarer stuff, like gold and lithium, in here. Let's put the lithium there and the gold. That's copper. Get that back. Um, I should have sorted this stuff out long ago. I did not intend that to come out as cutie, but I'll take it. Sometimes you just gotta self-affirm. Uh, oh, there's loads of, loads of copper here as well. Nice. Um, Is there? Those are manufactured. Just do a little bit of sorting out. <laughs> so that's rare stuff and manufactured stuff. That one's got minerals and that one's got organics, but I should have the compass in here. Spare compass. Uh, is there room for these in this one? I think there is. Cool, I need food. Uh, and I also need to catch you. Yoink. There was a floater. It's just gone past my face twice. Where the fuck's the floater gone? You're not a floater, but I'll take it. Also, that titanium that's been lying around there for a while. There's a floater. Come hither, little one. Not floater, hoverfish. Floater's something else. Another one around here, anyway. There's normally a couple. There's one over here. I can see its shadow. There we are. Anyway, the short version of the story, I guess, is that in criticizing Hussey for endorsing an idealist philosophy of fiction and human action, uh, Cameron Kunzelman came out swinging against Barclay, and apparently I am still inclined to defend Barclay against uh, people who get criticisms of him wrong. Um, it's a bit frustrating, because I feel like you know, Cameron Kunzelman is a philosopher, um, has done, has trained in philosophy, um, has taught philosophy, really should know better than to resort to such um, dismissive presentations of the work of people who, in their own way, have been quite influential in the history of philosophy. I need rubies, which I think means I need 
Um, a new base somewhere deeper with a scanner module. Uh, and needing a base means I need... Um, yes, okay. I can build a thermal plant. Which means I can build a base somewhere that's hot. Um, and I know where that's going to be. Uh, for which I need one aerogel. Can I make aerogel in this? It's an advanced material, I think. Yes. Gel sack and ruby. Uh, ha, 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 ha. One of these is the exit. There we go. Uh, let me pick up. Oh, they're not actually growing yet. Come on, guys. One gel sack. And... Two, three. That one's not finished growing. That one has. One, two, three. Oh, the wharf is going to have a go at me, probably. Seed, 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 seed. Are these also now ready? One, two, three. One, one two, three. There is apparently a bug with these. Um, where if you do it right, you can get um, infinite seeds from one gel sack. But I am not going to exploit it. I don't feel any particular need to. Minerals. Ruby. Advanced materials. Aerogel. Uh, right. Where's that blueprint again? Thermal plant. Five titanium, two magnetite, and an aerogel. I have... Exactly two magnetite left. Uh, and there must be f five titanium in here. I think there's plenty of titanium in here. Uh, so now I'm going to do something scary. I'm going to take these extremely valuable materials and try to transport them safely to my other base, which is closer to where I want to build my third base. Um, I should also take the ingredients for a beacon. Beacon. That's one copper. I shall take three copper because I'm sure I'll find a use for it. I always do. Uh, that's this way. Let's go! <sighs> anyway, I'm not actually sure that Hussey has a philosophy. Um, their remarks about how Homestuck works honestly seem a lot more like a person trying whatever they can in order to get... Um, ooh, diamond, nice. People to stop harassing them. Which I think is fair enough. Um, I think this is the area I want to be. Eventually, at least. Oh, I didn't bring any lead. Whoops. I am going to need significant quantities of lead for this. I 
Hydration check. Now at this base, I don't have a facility in which to park my Seamoth. Because those are expensive. Uh, what's in here? Oh, lots of titanium. Nice. One lead. Some magnetite. Lots of water. That's good. Uh, let's store that diamond for now. I should make this beacon... Uh, what's in this locker? More lead. Also diamond. Right, so actually the valuables are in this one. Uh, along with this blood oil, which I don't have enough of and takes up a lot of inventory space for no adequately explained reason. Uh, I don't actually want to take this stuff with me first. I want to go and see about building the base itself. Let me remind myself how much this shit costs. Foundation. Two titanium, two lead. And then a multi-purpose room is six titanium. So I definitely need to get some more titanium. Uh, quickest way to do that is to find some metal salvage. I should also eat something. Because that's what it's like to play survival games. You spend a lot of time eating things. It's part of why I like them. Hey, friend. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Was it gone? I never said I was any good at eating things. One day I will be a terrible predator of the skies. Right now I am just a little creature. Yoink. Peepa, 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 peepa. Not you. No, not whole fish. There are holes in those. It's not good eating on them. The thing about peepers is they have big eyes and they will see you coming. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. <sighs> More water. And titanium. In this case, not titanium ingots. I mustn't get carried away. Let's see if we can find the place I want to build my next base. I think it's in this direction somewhere. Somewhere over here there should be a hole in the ground. Is it this hole in the ground? This is a hole in the ground. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Is it the hole in the ground? I would help you out with the gill if I could, doll. But alas, comma. Oh, 
that guy's going to attack me and wreck my fucking thing. I want to build my base here-ish. So let's see. Oops. Ow. I can find my way back up to the hole I just found my way in through. Is it over here somewhere? This looks like a plausible sort of a direction. Of course you'd get lucky like that. Congratulations. This is pod... I don't remember a thing about pod 17. But I have clearly... Checked it out already. Because there's nothing there. Oops. Every time I turn around in this thing, I get spooked by my own wake. Not scared, to be clear. Just spooked. Uh, three. Oh, where's the beacon control panel? Edit beacon name. Oh. Before I do this, actually, uh, let's repair. Always repair the sea moth before taking it to places that will bite it. Uh, where do I want to go? If possible, I want to avoid the worms. The worms are not my friends. Those two... <laughs> appear to have... gone to sleep? Maybe? One of my habitats somewhere is struggling because it's the middle of the night and they all run on solar power at the moment. This isn't quite the cave I thought it was. Where can I build this foundation? Somewhere around here, probably. Shale and Magnetite can spawn here. This is a good place for it. Habitat Builder. Where's my Habitat Builder? There. Base pieces. Foundation. And... A multi-purpose room on the foundation. Habitat doesn't have any power. Uh, let's build a hatch. Oh, I don't have any quartz. Shit. Uh, is there a cat and horse chance of there being any quartz around here? Probably not at the moment. Oh, one thing I should do. Here's a thing I didn't realize I could do. Um, switch that to yellow. I don't really know why I have the camera drones. Um, anyway. Now I know where I need to go in order to get out of here. Roughly, at least. Have I inspected this stuff? Yes. 
So this is vaguely the right cave system. It's not the part of it that I thought I was in. Which might be over there somewhere? Question mark? But now I need to do the scary part of bringing all the valuable stuff down here. At least the sun has come up. I think. Ow. That wasn't the hole I entered through. <laughs> Uh, here we go. At least the sun has come up. I need to drink something. I should also check what I need in order to build the scanner room. Welcome aboard, Captain. Valuables. I do have quartz. Good. Uh, let's get that stowed away. Uh, magnetite, aerogel. Titanium was the other thing. No, hang on. <sighs> Scanner room, copper, gold, and table coral. Okay. Hmm. Thermal plant, titanium, magnetite, aerogel. Do I have enough titanium on me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I have one too many quartz. One more quartz than I need, at least. Put that back. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, let's go for that and see if I've understood correctly how this is going to work. Uh, not there. Here. There are definitely better entrances to this cave, and I could definitely have built my ship in a better location within the cave, but... At least we're making progress of a sort. Oh, something's very angry with me. see if I have correctly understood how this works. Exterior modules. Why is that showing yellow? There we go. Hmm, that doesn't appear to be warm enough. Maybe I need to dismantle this and build it actually down there. So that's not charging anything. This has not worked. If I want to get anything good out of this, I'm going to have to move it. Uh, 
The whole thing. How much space do I have in my inventory? I do have a fair amount of space. Maybe I can get all of this stuff back into my inventory. still have inventory space remaining. Just. There's just enough inventory space for all this. Uh, right. Is that a giant ruby? What is it? It's gold. Close enough. Uh, there's some magnetite down there. That's nice. Right. Base pieces. Foundation. How close can I get this? Owie. Okay, it's hot there. Foundation. Multi-purpose room. On that corner. Exterior module. Thermal plant. Surely this is going to be close enough to the thing to actually rack up some temperature. 46, okay. Good. Now I can put a hatch on this. All primary systems online. Uh, where can I put the hatch? Put the hatch on this side. Good. Let me just grab that. And holy shit, that's a lot of magnetite. thing down here that keeps wanting me to scan these guys. Come back here. Oh, there's loads of them. Uh, assessment edible. Good to know. I don't think I can get water down here terribly easily. Uh, right, that's the base build though. Well, it's the beginnings of the base build. Uh, you're about to start nomming me. Where's my seamoth? Did I leave it up on the ledge? Yes. Let us leave this place. Uh, which means going in this direction. Not driving straight into the roof of the cave. And we'll see about building a scanner room. Although I'm going to have to end stream soon because I'm starting to really need the loo. And this is not a good game to be playing when you need the loo. Shallow base. Rainfall base. Cave base. Oh, it is this one. Whoops. The way the shaders change as you come out of the caves really is some wow nonsense. It's kind of endearing, honestly. While I'm up here, I need to grab... I really must stop leaving the scanner room running because it's definitely affecting the spawn rates for things. What do I actually need to be scanning for? Those can go in here. Ah, 
what does it take to build a scanner room? I am so bad at remembering this shit. Scanner room. Five titanium, two copper, gold, and table coral. I bet I don't have gold here. I do. Two copper. I've got a gold. Uh, so I just need the titanium. And table coral. So actually, I'm going to leave... That on for a really while. Grab every one of you that I find. Yoink. There was another one behind me. Come here. Actually, there's loads of them. This was a good place. For a base. Also, that's table coral. That's the thing I'm here to get. How much space have I got in my inventory? Ah, I've got space in my inventory. How's that? Hey, Lexi. Oh, jeez. That is rough. I hope your dad's okay. Table coral. Yoink. Not that base, this base. Fish inventory full. Did I pick up enough titanium? Uh, hang on, I can't actually do anything with any of this because of how much I have filled my inventory. Water, water, water. That's good, at least. Still, a stressful way to start the day. Uh, what do we got? Titanium. Pardon me. To take all this water down with me, although I guess I want to take quite a lot of it with me. Blueprints, scanner room. So I need the copper and the gold. I need an eye compartment, which is two titanium. So I need seven titanium total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. I should go here. Valid, honestly, like, I... Was that gold? No, that's copper. Cool. Uh, I was pretty sluggish getting up today myself. Without anything really resembling a good reason. Um... Where did I put my car this time? There it is. Wait, I was going to turn the scanner room off if I can remember how to get out of the car. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, where am I going? Not there. There. Graphic design stuff is legitimately productive. 
I stayed up late writing and then significantly later than that just watching VTube Eclipse on YouTube. Uh, and maybe also SB Nation. Um, I just want to check something. Is there... <laughs> Let us all compete for who's been the worst nerd. Sometimes the Seamoth has um Dull certainly seems to be having the best time of it. Uh, right, there's nothing actually here for me to do yet. How much do lockers? Do lockers cost two titanium? That would be really annoying. Lockers cost two titanium, so I can't afford to build one. Uh, can I, in the space available, build a scanner room? That's really what this base is here for. Uh, let's see. can, it's probably in virtue of... Whoops. No. Oh my fucking god, video game. There we go. Like that, and then... Scanner room. It will not let me build a scanner room there. Great. It'll let me build one there, but if I build one there, it's not going to attach to the base, I don't think. That might be because it's the wrong way round. There we go. One scanner room. Because it will let you build shit like sticking out like this for some reason. What can my scanner room scan for? Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, that's pretty, the the cave map. What have we got? Creature egg, gold, heat area. You can make like quartz, but not rubies. Fuck. I was really hoping that it would be possible to scan for rubies down here. Um I need uh, I need copper ore and magnetite silver ore and gold I can get the magnetite down here um As expected, there's not a lot of limestone chunks down here. Show me where the magnetite is. Including, apparently, right below me. Nice. Yoink. <sighs> Oops. Once again, don't get too distracted by running into the cave walls. Uh, 
I wonder if I have silver, gold, and copper all at this base. I should recover that beacon. It's not telling me about anything useful anymore. Oh, Lexi, I don't think you actually made it here. Um by the when I when I showed it off. You know how I was complaining about beacon settings and that I had to be persuaded that actually you can change them? There's a whole fucking interface for it. I have sinned deeply and I apologize. Uh what was I here for? I have no silver. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap the stream there because, as previously mentioned, I really need to pee. Uh, but thanks for being here. And I'm back to Tales of Arise tomorrow in a desperate sprint to finish the damn thing. Um, I will also rant about the bird that I encountered um, after you left uh, at the end of last night's stream. <sighs> Thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you all tomorrow, I hope. Good night.